Hiya, my name is Poke King, but you can just call me King. And today, well, I'm just gonna talk about Pokemon stuff. Surprise, surprise. Story time, news time, news time. I'm a news outlet now, hearing it here first, right from the Rapidash's mouth. Listen, they're putting chemicals in the water that turn the freaking frogs gay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, first up on the agenda, Detective Pikachu 2 was announced this past Wednesday, and I am so extremely hyped for that. I love that they kept the same kind of quirky personality for Pikachu and like the deep voice and everything like that. And it also looks like the whole game itself has all of its little weird things and weird quirks that it had in the first game too. <laughs> I'm obviously a bit sad they didn't get Ryan Reynolds to voice Pikachu in the game, but you know, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> I definitely will be buying that game and hopefully playing it on the channel. I'm sure that we'll have a very interesting and weird time because it's definitely a different one. And I think that it's a really good game to kind of play like on the channel, have like a let's play and almost seem like you're playing with friends <laughs> because it is truly a whole experience. And I think that that would be really, really cool. And I'm just super excited for it because it's something new. It's like a new spinoff game to kind of tide us over until we go into the DLC for Scarlet and Violet, which is actually the next thing that I wanted to kind of touch on in this video. We got some more info about the DLC for Scarlet and Violet. I'm really digging the direction that they seem to be taking the story with the transfer student route to the academy out in the middle of like the ocean or whatever and then also you get a lot of like festival events and stuff which I always really like when they have those types of stories and games so I'm super excited to see it all developed and fleshed out and everything like that. I like the new characters that they've introduced. I think that their designs look really interesting and I'm super excited to just see what these characters kind of bring to the table and stuff as well. Overall, very excited. We also are getting new Pokemon or like like a new Pokemon evolution chain or whatever. We're getting new Pokemon. <laughs> um, so Scarlet is getting Gligar and Gliscor and then Violet is getting Apom and Ambipom. I like it, Apom and Ambipom out of the two. Uh, that's just my personal opinion and it kind of works out because I have Violet so I'm like, yeah, definitely gonna get an Am uh, Apom, Ambipom. Um, I've liked Ambipom and Apom since they won that tennis tournament in the Diamond and Pearl anime. So yeah, I'm just very happy about that. I'm glad that we seem to be getting an expansion on the Pokedex so we might even get some more version exclusive Pokemon as time goes on um, and I'm super excited to see how that kind of plays out. I'm still really curious how they're going to handle the level curve and stuff like that because all my main Pokemon in the game are level 100 and a bunch of my other Pokemon are also the same level. Plus with the Pokemon home integration so many players have a wide range of strong mons to use and I'm just wondering if they'll force you to use different Pokemon or what they're gonna do like we don't really get much info in the trailer but i'm sure that we're gonna see more info about it as time goes on i'm just kind of like confused how they're gonna handle that because i know that they want to make sure that these dlcs in this mode is going to be challenging to the players anyways and i feel like if you just have an entire team of shiny legendaries that are level 100 with maxed out evs then it's not gonna be <laughs> really challenging at all but I guess time will tell with that. For the DLC, I'm not sure if I'll be playing it on the channel live or in parts because I play the game on my own Switch Lite, specifically the Dialga and Palkia Switch Lite, which is my perfect beautiful BB. And the Switch Lite, to my knowledge, doesn't even have an output source for the screen, unfortunately, so my capture card won't work with it. However, I do have a normal Switch that I can use as well, that is my sister's, but I'm not 100% sure if I can play the DLC on two Switches, like I can play the base game because I have the cartridge of it. So I shall have to see. The DLC looks really cool though. And regardless, I want to share my thoughts on it when it comes out and get a chance to play it. To be honest, I also haven't shared my thoughts on Scarlet and Violet as a whole yet, but I'm sure that we'll get to that point at some point as well. Next up on the news segment, it is 151 Scarlet and Violet expansion for the TCG. <sighs> well, okay. Here we go. Get ready for the real me to show because I don't even want to sugarcoat this. This is my completely unfiltered dog shit take and I don't even care. 
Disclaimer, I am not here to start a fight with anyone who likes Gen 1. I understand what Gen 1 did for the franchise. Without it, we wouldn't even have any of the things that we have today. But oof, I am so sick of seeing Gen 1 shit. Like honestly, I was sick of seeing Gen 1 shit when Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee came out and I am tired of seeing it here just the same. I went on a whole ramble about this on Twitter, but I'm going to just reiterate some of my points to give you like a spark notes version of all the things I said. I am so sick and tired of Generation 1 being pampered and spoiled while all the other games get half ass shit or like no shit at all. With the TCG, I will say that Gen 4 got a lot of love with the Legends Arceus expansions coming out, so like Astro Radiance and Lost Origin, but we didn't get an entire new set with remade cards of an entire Diamond and Pearl Pokedex, and neither did any other gen. And I know that the Pokemon Company is not going to do this for any other gens because they always just do Gen 1 and then that's it. And if they do do this for other gens, I will eat my hat or whatever the fuck that saying is, but like... I really don't have faith in that. I'm just tired of the Gen 1 dick riding and the fu the fucking Charizard dick riding. Oh my god, the Charizard dick riding is insanity. We are getting another Charizard card in this set, which brings the total amount of different Charizard cards to like 50 fucking Charizard cards or something. Why do we need 50 Charizard cards? And I know for a fact that they are going to go for hundreds and hundreds of dollars because it's Charizard. Oh my god, big fire dragon. Well, I'm just very over it. <sighs> Okay, now that that's out of the way, I will likely be opening this expansion pack when it comes out in the English set, which I think is around September or from what I saw. So look forward to those videos because I will be trying to pull the Charizard cards to sell them. <laughs> so maybe your boy will get some money in his pockets, I don't know. In some unrelated news but also news i wanted to share it was actually my 25th birthday this past saturday and the reason i bring that up is because i just wanted to say i'm excited for another year and i'm also excited to share that year with you all because um i started this channel last november so this is kind of like a new year for me it's going to be a new year for the channel um so yeah i'm just super excited to bring you know, a lot of more content to everybody and a lot more journeys and adventures with everybody who's on my channel. So I'm just excited about that. I was kind of worried about what 25 was going to bring to me, but honestly, I feel more excited than anything about the next chapter of my life at this point. So I think that's going to be filled with a lot of fun things, a lot of exciting things. And like I said, of course, more content for the channel, which is super, super awesome, which actually brings me to another announcement uh so more announcement time i am finally in a good place to make a solid stream schedule yes <laughs> so what you are currently seeing on the screen is a draft or a sneak peek of my stream schedule moving forward now if you don't know i actually have a full-time job on top of uh going to the gym regularly and other commitments and this youtube channel has always kind of just been an extra fun little hobby for me but i definitely want to start streaming regularly and put time aside to do that because i really enjoy streaming and i like hanging out with you all on stream so Here's what it's going to look like, at least for July. Now, my job hours are not always so consistent, so small tweaks and changes may need to be made to the schedule, but I am going to try my best to stick to it. If any changes happen, I will be posting them on the community tab here, and I'll also probably be posting it on Twitter. I'm going to continue streaming Pokemon Violet, as well as going to start streaming Mario Kart with some friends and maybe viewers in the future, and I might even do Jackbox streams with friends and viewers as well, because I always find those really fun. I am also looking to start series on some of my other non-Pokemon related favorite games like Okami, Stray, Five Nights at Freddy's, Mario Bros, Mario 64, which I'm in the process of learning how to speed run actually, so that will be kind of interesting to stream. Bioshock, Silent Hill, and many more. So I am super excited for my 25th era. I'm also going to be working on some different video types in the future, including more playthroughs of Pokemon Platinum, so I've kind of been slacking on it, but I promise you we will get through that game. I'm thinking of maybe some Pokemon Rangers or Pokemon Black slash White, along with more movie reviews and summary videos. I'm also looking into doing a video on Pokemon fan fiction. <laughs> I'm sure that that will be interesting. I'm not really sure what that's going to look like, but as somebody who has dabbled in fan fiction for like 15 years, I think at this point, or like 
14, 13 years. It's, it's been a while. I I will say I have read a fanfic or two in my life. Um, I think that would be interesting or just fun to kind of look at some Pokemon fanfiction and uh, kind of read it and have like a little bit of a read along. <laughs> I don't know. It's just an idea that I had that I think that might be funny because when I read fan fiction, I sit here and talk to myself anyways and be like, whoa, what the hell was that? <laughs> so I think that it would be fun to kind of like record it one of these days, but I don't know. <laughs> I also want to start playing Pokemon fan games. Uh, so that would be interesting. I think that that would be fun. Plus, I have actually been dabbling in some dating sim creation and design for a Pokemon dating sim fan game that, well... I would love to share with y'all. <laughs> um, it's in very early beta stages where I'm just kind of like creating like a script and ideas and stuff like that. But I think it would be really cool if I was able to just like have even streams of me drawing characters in it or programming it. Um, just having like talking and hanging out. I don't know. It's something that has been kind of cooking up in my mind. <laughs> There's just lots of ideas, lots in store, and I cannot wait to have these ideas come to fruition. Also, this kind of video where I just talked about a couple of different things that happened in the Pokemon community or announcements. If you liked this type of video, I'd totally be down to doing more news type of announcement videos or like update videos on what the hell's going on in Pokemon world. Uh, so if you liked that, if you trust me as a news source, because I can tell you if the frogs are gay. <laughs> Other than that, though, I want to take a moment to say thank you to everybody who has joined me on this journey thus far. As of recording this, I have 35 subscribers, which is honestly means so much to me. I kind of have this underlying feeling a lot of the time that I talk too much or I talk about things that no one really cares about. But seeing that 35 people actually do care about it, it makes me happy to say the least. Not to mention the views and attention that some of my videos are getting. It just makes me very happy. So I just love you all so very much. And I am so stoked to see where this channel and this chapter of my life takes me. I hope that everybody has a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!